Hi, uh, my name is Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. This is one of my best friends, Natalie. Hello. Visiting her in Michigan for a couple of days, so of course I have forced my hobby onto her. <laughs> and also her dog. This is Bruce. Bruce, say hi. <laughs> it wasn't recording. Do it again. Bruce, you did such a good job. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Bye. <laughs> Bruce is going to be choosing my April TBR today. <laughs> he is so excited, he is speechless. He can't express it in words. Yeah. So, <laughs> she only has really big treats, and we don't want to. We don't want to make him bark. So, we're going to see what we can do without <laughs> treats. Okay, bye. He's bored already. So, I made like a one sided March Madness bracket, which I'll show you like a closer version of which I obviously spent way too much time on because I'm an artsy hoe. And um, I matched Same. up, just to put some stakes in it, I matched up books that I want to read against books that I don't. Not that I don't want to read, but that I don't want to read right now for a variety of reasons. Because her TBR is like... Yeah, you might as well just like keep long. moving your hand because it never stops extending. We did, we did go to the bookstore today. Save the other two books not on camera that she just bought. Get up here. Good boy. Oh, he's back. Hello. Oh, he's back. I'm going to quick go through the matchups and then we'll get into the tournament and see if I come out with a TBR that I really want or one that I don't. So the first <laughs> matchup I have is Exo Manowar by Dennis Hopeless and Dark One Volume One by Brandon Sanderson. I matched these up because they're both graphic novels. And I have these both through NetGalley, which is why I don't have copies of them. This is the one I want to read, and this is the one I, I don't. Can I do some? Yeah. Okay, so the next matchup is this one. It says Bronte. It's by Manuela Santoni. And this one says why she wrote. It's by Hannah K. Chapman, Lauren Burke, and Kaylee Bales. Bailey Bales. This one's a graphic novel, and this one I think is not technically a graphic novel, but it's illustrated. It's an illustrated work. This one is about all three Bronte sisters and how they became writers, and this one is about fam just other famous women writers. So they're okay. kind of about the same thing, which is why I matched them up. The one I want to read is why she wrote. The next matchup is One Great Lie by Deb Coletti, and then uh, The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. This is one of the books I just got today. It's a big boy. and So this is the one that I don't want to read because I'm not prepared. That's what most of these books are, is I'm just not prepared to read it at the moment. This actually replaced Lincoln and the Bardot. Lincoln and the Bardot was the one that I wanted to read the least. But I thought about it, and it's just because I don't want to read Lincoln and the Bardot. <laughs> So I just took it off my TBR, that's why it's not on here anymore. This is by the author that wrote A Heart and a Body in the World, which if you saw my 2020 video, my 2020 favorites video that I'll link up there, it was on there. And this is her new book, comes out in June, and I got approved on NetGalley, which was kind of crazy, I didn't expect that. So I'm very excited to read this one. So this one is called The Overstory, a novel. It's by Richard Powers. This one's called The Goldfinch, and it's by Donna Tartt. And I'm going to guess that the reason that these two are together is because they're both Pulitzer Prize winners. Ding, 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 yay! Yeah, I'm smart. Don't look. Oh. Which one do you think I want to read? Wow, right I only read that list like five times. <laughs> um, I have a feeling you're going to guess wrong. I, think I don't it's know. This why. one. It's not. <laughs> oh, dang it! It's it's this one only because it's I've had it. <laughs> I've had it for so long. I have this one on audiobook, but when I tried to listen to it, it was way too dense for me personally to consume through audio. So because I got my hands on this print copy, now I feel like I can do it either just in print or print and audio. <laughs> and it's also a little shorter than the Goldfinch. Armada. By Ernest Klein versus This Is How You Lose the Time War by Max Gladstone. These are both audiobooks. If you watch my other videos, you already know I kind of started this and decided I wasn't jamming with it at the time. And This Is How You Lose the Time War. It's like a love story written in letters, I believe. Aww. And it's only four hours. All right. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what? Shh. <laughs> 
me. Hush, it's okay. You just want to holler too. All right, so the next one <laughs> is The History of Love by oh, Nicole Krause. There's no way you're ever going to guess why these are matched up. And this Unless one. Unless you know who recommended this to me. Is My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. And. These are paired together because <laughs> they're about love. No. Dang. <laughs> Do you know what My Dark Vanessa is about? I have no idea what this is about. It's about her being groomed by a teacher. Oh. Yeah, kind of gross, right? So, which one's the one you think I want to read? Well, I'm pretty sure you've had this one for a long time. <laughs> Because when I visited you like a year ago, it was still on your shelf. Wow, good for you. So, but this one was recommended to you. I feel like you take recommendations seriously. I do. But you just said you wanted to read that other one because I know. <laughs> you wanted to get it off your shelf. Don't. <laughs> I'm going to go with this one. Yes! Yay! I wasn't sure you were going to get there. Um... <laughs> Yes, so actually the reason that I chose these, they were both recommended to me. Um, well, yeah, this is our friend Natalia's, one of her recent favorites because she really identifies with the storyline. And so I want to, I really want to read it so I can feel like I know more about her and, and connect with her on that level. Cute. And this is one of my high school friend's favorite books. This is literally her copy that I've probably had for seven or eight years. But this is still the one that I want to read. So this is not actually what this book's really called, but it says Secret Comics by Tell You Later. <laughs> and this is Scarlet Letter by uh, Nathaniel Hawthorne. I acquired some comics in a really cool way, and they came to be in a really cool way, and they seem really cool. <laughs> so I want to do like a revealing vlog of all of that and then a reading vlog. And show you guys how cool it is. Yeah, to show you how cool it is. But I don't want to tell you anything about it beforehand. So that's why this, this says Secret Comics. And this is just Scarlet Letter. So I think I put it on here because um, I'm trying to read more plays. This isn't a play. I don't know why I put this on here. Because it's short? Because everybody else read it in ninth grade? Yeah, maybe. Um, I think I might have thought this was a play. <laughs> and I think I matched, I'm not even kidding you guys. I think I matched these up because they were both untraditional media types, like. <laughs> but this is just a book. <laughs> That's hilarious. Would you like to do another? You do the next one, then I can do the one after that. Why? Because you know why? <laughs> you know why I pitted them together? <laughs> okay, then we have White Oleander by Janet Finn, Fitch, Fitch, and uh, The Book of Disquiet by Fernando Pessoa. This has already appeared on a couple of TBRs, and it will probably appear on a couple of more. I really, really want to read it, but I think it's just going to take so much brain work that I haven't started yet. And then this was an Oprah's Book Club pick, and it's about a writer with a crazy mom, I believe, which sounds pretty cool. So this is the one I would like to read. The reason that I put them together is because they're both on my five-star anticipated list. Nice. Nice. What? I'm only going to end up with five books. It's like, so it'll be cut in half and then cut in half again. In your hands, that looks really pathetic. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, so this one, <laughs> you'll recognize this one if you've read or watched any of Michelle's other videos ever. I'm pretty sure this has made an appearance in like every single video in the last like year because she refuses to finish it. It's not. It's Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. And this one is very pretty. These are like in opposite condition right now. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> this one is Lolita by Vladimir Nab Nabokov. 
these are paired together because they're both about girls. And <laughs> we're both recommended to you by Sabrina. No. <gasps> That's a good guess. Because it's kind you of should have finished actually. this one by now. <laughs> In this one, you want to listen to the podcast that Sabrina recommended to you. No. Dang! Um, it's related, though. They Related both, to Sabrina. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're both on mine and Sabrina's must-read in 2021 list. But they are also both classics. That's why I pitted them against each other. I think it's fairly obvious which one I want to read. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah because if you wanted to read this, it would have been read by now. And then the last pairing are the two biggest... Not, maybe not longest, but biggest boys. It would be coming by Michelle Obama. That's a girl. <laughs> Hidden Valley Road by Robert Kolker. I think you also, if you've watched any of my videos, you already know which one I want to read. Yeah. Hidden this Valley one, Road. I have read this one. This one is really good. So, okay, that's all the books. Break! This is Brucey. Brucey. He's a good boy. And he's an old boy, as you can see by his little white face. Here we go. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Which book? <gasps> oh, 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 <laughs> it worked! Yay! <laughs> Oh god, I missed a letter. <laughs> Bruce has the same taste in books as Michelle A does. <laughs> Alrighty, Bruce. Which one? He went to this one twice. officially lost interest. We got the treats out. Alright, come here. Come here. Sit. Stay. <gasps> come here. Okay. <laughs> Why uh, Oleander? <laughs> you messed up, my dude. You messed up. <laughs> Quick, take the tree down. <laughs> hey. Which one? All right. The scarlet letter it is. The scarlet letter. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that this is how you lose the time war in Armada. Look at me. Come here. Okay. Go get him. Look. Good job, Bruce. 
Alrighty, he picked. This is how you lose the time war. She wrote, Brucey, come here, come here. Which one? All right, come here. Sit, stay. Look at me. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Oh, Bronte this time. Dark One, Volume One, in oh, XO Manowar. Which one, Bruce? You only did that one because it's closest to you. Go over there. Bruce. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Brucey. That wasn't a fair I don't choice. Know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Sit. Stay. Come here. Come over here. Sit. Stay. Come here. <gasps> okay. Fine. <laughs> Dark one, volume one. One. here for a quick quick a doodle update a schmoodle he did exactly five books I wanted to read and five that I didn't so he's just like really keeping the suspense about whether or not I'm gonna like my TBR Hidden Valley Road is now pitted against Lolita I suppose I'd rather have Lolita because it's shorter I think but I would be happy with either of these these are both my choice from the last round then then we have White Oleander against the Scarlet Letter. These actually have similar fonts on, wait, this is fucking backwards. <laughs> similar fonts with the titles. Um, so that's kind of funny. I would rather have Scarlet Letter, again, because it's shorter. But these were both books that were not the one that I wanted from the last pair up. My Dark Vanessa and This Is How You Lose the Time War. I'm gonna go against the trend that I've just set and say I would rather read My Dark Vanessa. Then we have The Way of Kings and The Goldfinch, which again are both big boys. I hate to say that I wanna read The Goldfinch because it's shorter, but I think I wanna so read The original. Goldfinch because it's shorter. <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> a bonk. That would actually hurt my head. I know, that's why I didn't. Oh my God, I'm reading one of these this month. I'm, there, I'm, there's no way out of it. I'm, <laughs> I'm reading one of them. Bronte and Dark One, both graphic novels. I don't know if there's one that I want over the other, but I am hoping I don't get both Brandon Sanderson books. I didn't even realize I had two. I'm hoping I either get one or none. So we've got Lolita and uh, Hidden Valley Road. Come here. Sit. Stay. Okay. Okay. Go. Look down. <gasps> Good boy, boys. <laughs> Got 
scarlet letter and white oleander. Do you have? I have two. Oh. Come here. Sit. Stay. Okay. Look. <gasps> okay. Okay. So we've got My Dark Vanessa, and this is how you lose the time war. Sit. Stay. Okay. Okay. Why don't you walk away past me? Look down. <gasps> Good old, almost. Get your nose away from that. <laughs> like, extremely long series. Come here. Like, don't let him sit by it. Sit. Stay. <laughs> Look at me. Bruce. Is that a different tree? Okay. Okay. You jerk. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> he went for the Brandon Sanderson. So we have Bronte and Dark One. Stay. Look at me. Okay. Good <gasps> boy. <laughs> Bronte One. I have my TBR. Thanks so much to Bruce. Round of applause. For Bruce, round of applause for Bruce. <laughs> you know, he, crazy sense of balance guy. We ended up with three books that <laughs> were ones I didn't want and two books which were ones I did. Hello, just popping in to give you a better explanation of the books that I will be reading and also the ones that Bruce didn't pick that I'm gonna be trying to fit in this month. Ignore the hat, I'm hiding some hair stuff that I'm not ready to show you guys yet, so um, look for that in an upcoming video. You can't see it at all. <laughs> so, okay. Bruce's Picks. The Way of Kings. I'm not dreading this as much as I thought I was going to. I'm not gonna disillusion myself into thinking that I'm gonna finish this, but the goal is to get a big chunk, like halfway through, so 500 pages in. Then we have My Dark Vanessa, which after I finish the books that I'm carrying over from March into April, this is going to be the first one that I pick up. Then we have Hidden Valley, which I know I said I was super excited about and then proceeded to not read even though it was on a bunch of TBRs, but I'm still excited about it. And I think the difference between like this TBR and my past TBRs is we all have dozens of books that we're excited about. But there's like a level of excitement these books there's nothing in front of them right now for like more excited more pressing so i think that's why i'm going to be successful then a scarlet letter this is short so i'm really not i will have no absolutely no excuse those are the four bruce picks plus bronte which is a graphic novel so i will absolutely be finishing that then we have four books that are carrying over so i should be finishing them except maybe one within the first week. We have Beach Read, which I am 70% of the way through, and I'm giving it to a friend Tuesday. Falling Up by Shel Silverstein, I'm about halfway through, a little more than halfway, but it's poetry, so I should finish this maybe the day after tomorrow. Then we have The Space Between Worlds, which I'm only 27% through, so I don't know when I will f finish this, but probably in April. I'm really, really liking it so far. And then we also have Afterlife Crisis, which I'm just putting on here because I will be listening to it because I'll be doing artsy stuff, but I'm not in any rush to finish it. I just, it will be continued during this month. So those are the four carryovers. And then I have one borrowed book, the book or the friend that I'm giving beach read to we're switching she's giving me one to watch so <coughs> I'll probably read that right away but I don't have any deadline on that the last two books are the apricot memoirs 
and why she wrote, which was in my tournament, which lost, but uh, both of these are coming out this month and they are both books that I should be able to get through relatively quickly. The Apricot Memoirs is a poetry collection and why she wrote is like short essays with illustrations. So I just, I don't know. I don't see myself not finishing these books. I said four carrier books. I lied. I have five. Embodied, which I'll pop up here, is a poetry comic. I'm about 30% of the way through. So they brought together poets and then comic artists, and the comic artists drew comics specifically for the poems. It's so cool. It highlights women, trans, non-binary, LGBT voices. It's awesome. I love it so far. Altogether, that's 13 books, but a good chunk of them I'm already a good percentage of the way into. So I have faith in myself. I think I'm going to really push it this month. We'll really do it. And I'll see you later. That's a lot of big books. This is only, yeah. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, everybody say thanks, Natalie. Say thanks, Bruce. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks, Bruce.